Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to learn about even, Stephen, and odd Todd. And we're going to learn through even and odd numbers. Our I can statement is I can identify even and odd numbers through grouping and equations. So let's watch a video. Listen carefully. very particular. He really likes everything to be absolutely fair and absolutely even. So if there's a snack in the class, he wants to have the same amount of snack in one hand as he does in the other hand. And he wants his friend to have the same amount of snack as he does. So we're going to sing a little song for even Steven and this is what he says. Zero, two, four, six, and eight. These are all even and that's just great. Now this is Odd Todd, and he's a little goofy, as you can tell by the picture. He likes things to be completely unfair. He doesn't like things, he doesn't, like if we had a snack in the class, he wouldn't want the same amount of snack in one hand as he would in the other, and he wouldn't want the same for the other person next to him. So in his song is one, three, five, seven, and nine. Those are all odd, and that's just fine. So this is where we would do a candy corn activity. And we would take, we would have even Steven and Odd Todd, and they both have little hands. So I would give you a random number of candy corn, and I would like you to count those out for me. So say I gave you 13 candy corn. Now I want you to choose if that would go in even Steven's hands or Odd Todd's hands. So what you would do is you would count all of those 13 candy corns out, and you would divide those evenly into each hand. So if you gave it to even Steven, you would see that six would fit in one of even Steven's hand, but seven would be in the other. So that wouldn't go with even Steven, would it? That would have to be with Odd Todd. So I want you to look at a couple things for me. This picture has three cookies. Now is that even or odd? So if we thought about even Steven and Odd Todd, and they had their two hands out, where would those go? Would that go in even Steven's hand? Would that be even or would that be in Odd Todd's hands where we would have two cookies in one hand and one cookie in the other? That would be Odd Todd's, right? So look at this one. There's four pencils. Will that be even Steven or Odd Todd? Even Steven because there's two pencils in one hand and two pencils in the other hand. And that's the same for these two pictures. Well, this picture over here. In this picture, there would be three socks in one hand and two socks in the other. So we're going to look at some grouping. 
Now, this is a little bit different. You can tell that the numbers are odd because there's one odd little button or little dot that sticks out. So one, okay, there's one dot, and then two, there's, it's even, right? So three, you can tell that there's one dot here and one dot here, and then there's one sticking out. So that one is obviously odd. Now, if we thought about even Stephen and odd tithe hands, two dots would fit in one hand and one dot would fit in the other, so that would be odd Todd. And it's the same for the rest of those. So another grouping picture would be this one. And you would see one here by itself. Remember, one is odd. One, three, five, seven, and nine. Those are odd, and that's just fine. So the three here, is that even or odd? Odd, because we have this one little block sticking out. And it's the same for the rest of these. All of these groups are odd, because they have that one odd block sticking out. So with this one, is this one even or odd? Odd, right? Because there's one odd star sticking out. What about this one? There are eight total butterflies. Zero, two, four, six, and eight. Those are even, and that's just great. And there's no odd blocks sticking out. Now, if we even look at the even and odd, this little PowerPoint's a little messed up. But the number of letters in even and the number of letters in odd are actually even and odd. So there's four, one, two, three, four letters in the PowerPoint even, or in the word even, and three letters in the word odd. So even the letters in the words are even and odd. So let's look at some adding. Three plus four, is that even or odd? What is three plus four? Seven. So if we drew a group of seven, you would have what, three blocks and then three blocks, so that would be six, and you'd have that one odd block out. So let's look at those blocks, or these dots. So there's one, two, three, one, two, three, four. See the four and then the three? That odd block kind of sticks out. Let's look at another one. Six plus four, is that even or odd? Let's see. So we have our six blocks plus our four blocks, and that equals 10. And there's no odd block sticking out, so that means it's an even number. So we're going to explore through this again, back with our candy corn things. Candy corn, there we are, candy corn candy. And we'll see what even Stephen and Odd Todd have to say about sharing in their snacks.